everyone, it's your girl Weeza and welcome back to my world. So today's video, she's exciting. Today we are going to debunk chap lips. So we've all experienced chap lips sometime in our life and they're just not fun. Super dry, flaky, even sometimes you get the bleeding happening and boy, girl, even my dog, poor Max, bless him so much, has had a dry nose and he needed a little bit of help. So it's just something that kind of happens naturally and environmental factors and just life happens. So if you are interested in wondering what are chap lips, why do they occur, and what you can do to prevent chap lips from happening in the first place, then stick around. As well, I will be going over my top holy grail products that I use to combat chap lips. So just before I get on with this video, I just wanted to remind you all to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future debunked in beauty and lifestyle videos and as well if you like science kind of backed up videos like this then don't forget to hit that like button so I know that you like them and we can continue making these awesome videos now let's debunk chap lips <laughs> So before we get into the video, I just formally wanted to introduce this new series called Debunked on my channel. It's when I take a lifestyle or beauty topic and kind of analyze it and help everyone understand it more in easy to understand kind of science terms and break it down and really help understand the science behind that product, that idea, that topic. The cool thing about Debunked is that we never kind of know which direction the science will take us. In some ways it will be like a first impression review, in some cases it will be like a favorite or a haul, in other cases it's like holy grail products where I introduce the things that I use every day. So the whole goal of Debunked would be to just help us understand these topics better in beauty and lifestyle and just really dig deeper in the surface and just have fun with it. So what are chap lips? So chap lips is when your lips become dry and dehydrated and they lose moisture and they tend to cause dry flaking or sometimes bleeding of the lips. And that's just when your, your lips just lose moisture. So you probably don't think about this, but your lips are a super important part of you. And it is so important to have them. So lips act as like a barrier from your outside world and the air and the toxins that we breathe in every day and kind of filter it and acts as a barrier from actually physically letting those toxins in. So when your mouth is closed, nothing's gonna come into your mouth. So just imagine if you didn't have lips and your mouth was just wide open, that would be wild. Your lips are also super important for eating and drinking and making sure like your food stays in your mouth and very important for articulating speech. If I didn't have lips, my voice wouldn't sound like this right now. But lips are super important for conveying emotion. Humans are very emotional people. So I can portray a million one emotions without even saying a word with just the way my lips look. I can be happy, sad, shocked, weirded out, surprised. A million and one emotions just by changing the way my lips look. It's pretty cool. So your lips are made out of tiny cells like the rest of your body, but the cells found in your lips are different. They contain an extra fatty layer that really helps keep that moisture in them and make them a little bit more tough and rigid because when you think about it, your lips go through a lot in a day. Your lips are important for doing everything. We speak a million and one things a day. We drink, we eat, we just put them through hell. So it needs to be a little bit more tougher than the rest of our skin to kind of stay intact. But the inevitable does happen and they do break down and they do get a little dry and demoisturized just based on everyday life. So when we compare face skin to lip skin, there's pretty big differences. So you can see here, I have a cross section of the skin that have three upmost part layers. So the teal layer or the blue layer is the SC layer, the stratum corneum layer. The next layer, the purple, is the epidermis and then followed by the orange layer, the dermis. So you can see major differences between face skin and lip skin. In the face skin, you can see that that utmost layer, that SC layer, is very thick and multi-layered versus in the lip skin, it's not very thick at all. It's only a few layers long, making it very thin and fragile. Another huge noticeable difference is, is that that facial skin creates hair. Your lips don't have hair on it. That would be wild. It also doesn't produce something called sweat glands. So sweat glands produce the sweat, obviously, that you produce when you work out and whatnot. But sweat glands also produce oil that kind of helps provide a layer onto your skin to protect it. Your lips don't have that. And the key part of sweat glands is to help regulate temperature of the body. It keeps you kind of at par and it at a good temperature that's comfortable for you. What factors cause chapped lips? So there's a whole bunch of factors, weather, humidity, dryness. Living in Canada does not help. It's really dry here and cold weather, but the sun also is a huge contributing factor. So if you live somewhere really hot, this is also a really big issue because the UV ultraviolet rays 
really penetrate your, your lip skin and just kill it. Other main things are dehydration. Dehydration is huge. I can drink gallons and gallons of water and just not feel dehydrated and my skin will feel it and my lips, especially when I start to feel my lips dry up, I know I need to drink some water. Also the foods that you eat, spicy, citric, very salty food can cause you to be dehydrated. Spicy food especially really irritates the lips and citrus foods. So just be mindful of that. But something no one really thinks about is just Life, your mouth contains something called saliva, which has digestive enzymes, which already help aid in digestion by breaking down your food. And these digestive enzymes are acidic. Their main goal is to break down your food. So it's gonna start working on your lips as well. So just biting and licking your lips is just causing them to dry out. My top products that I use to help prevent or cure my chapped lips, and these are things that I use literally every day or when I need to top up when I feel chapped lips coming on. My first product is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I am obsessed with this stuff, like literally obsessed. This one is in Sweet Candy and Oh, it is just amazing. If you like sweet smells, get the sweet candy one. I've tried the vanilla version and I've also tried the original, which is kind of like bubble gummy. Um, all are unreal. They have um, other flavors. They have like a mint chocolate chip one that I didn't jump on that I wish I did. And now they have like grapefruit and like lime or something like that. Those aren't really my thing, but anything sweet smelling, the sweet candy is definitely something that I've been loving. And it smells, like I said, incredible. And you do get a lot of product, like look at this tub. And the nice thing is you won't lose it because it's so big. So I use this as a nightly mask. I have it right on my night table. I put it on before I go to bed and it just works wonders for me. I also use it just kind of if I need a little bit of extra love during the day or if I just want to put something on my lips, I'll put this on. This mask has two main features which they pride themselves on. So it's something called a berry complex and a moisture wrap. Berry complex uh, with just a whole bunch of different types of berries and their benefits of antioxidants, which kind of help strip free radicals from your lips and just really allow your skin to heal. And the second one is something called the moisture wrap. The moisture wrap technology is something that has really intrigued me. So I dug deeper and I'll just read exactly what it says off the website here saying that the moisture wrap is exclusive technology that features a mineral network of moisture rich beta glucan to form an eight hour time release moisturizing layer on the skin. It locks in active ingredients in mineral water. Then it goes on to say that it boasts hyaluronic acid and minerals to form a protective film over a lip and lock in moisture and active ingredients. 100% I agree with that. I go to bed with this stuff on and it's still on my lips when I wake up eight, eight hours later, seven, eight, realistically, six, seven hours later. It's still on my lips and I physically need to wipe it off. So I agree, time lock, eight hours, check. But the thing that in, that intrigued me was the hyaluronic acid and beta-glucan. So I heard about hyaluronic acid before and it's a great moisturizing properties, but I've never heard of beta-glucan. So I wanted to look, dig a little deeper into this ingredient and understand it more. So it turns out that hyaluronic acid and beta-glucan are just long polysaccharide polymers. And what that means is that it's just long sugar chains that are able to suck onto water and pull it in and carry that water in their weight. So these molecules actually have have the ability to carry their weight 100, 500, 1000 times, 20 times more than what they weigh. And it's absolutely incredible. So beta-glucan and hyaluronic acid are humectants. And what that means is think of a magnet magnet pulling up something with force. So humectants actually penetrate the skin to pull water and moisture from lower skin levels. So they pull that moisture from the dermis, from the epidermis to the SC layer. They pull it by means of hydrogen bonds, so they're able to attach to water molecules and just pull them up. And since they're able to carry a lot of capacity, they're able to pull a lot of these water molecules up and just bring to the surface all of this water and moisturizing and plumpness that we experience with this amazing mask. So Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is the best uh, lip mask that I've ever used and the science behind it is pretty cool. My next product is something that you can get from the drugstore and it's the good old Carmex. So literally the best way to describe this is what it says on the tube, a classic lip balm and that's exactly what it is. But I wanted to dig deeper in to understand why Carmex works, like what ingredient is in this bad boy that works so well on my lips. And I did some research and I found out that main ingredient of Carmex is lanolin. So lanolin is kind of a controversial ingredient because it's produced in sheep, in the oil glands of sheep and it's used to protect their wool. So when you actually physically shave the sheep you are able to get that shed wool and 
extract and refine the lanolin from the shed wool. So there is no harm done to the actual sheep. But other companies like, let's say, let's just expose them, like Bite Beauty have actually taken out lanolin out of some of their ingredients to actually meet their clean beauty standards. That is awesome and that is great if you want to be a vegan company, but for me, I used to love this lip mask, but ever since they took out the lanolin, it hasn't been one of my favorites. I still use it and it's good and it does do its job to a certain point, but it's by no means my go-to. If I need a lip mask, I'm going to the Laneige and that is her. But I do use this, I have a tube, so I might as well use it. So I wanted to understand what is so great about lanolin, like why has it had such a great effect on my lips, especially when it comes to chap lips. So I dug deep and I found out that lanolin is something called an occlusive and an emollient. So an occlusive is something that actually creates a seal on your lips to prevent the evaporation of water leaving your lips. And it provides an ideal environment for that moisture repair process to occur naturally. So I also mentioned that lanolin is an emollient. And what that means, think hair gel, smoothing everything out. So it, your lip cells are side by side like this. And when it gets dry, they start to shrivel up, separate, and that's when you get that flaking. Lanolin comes in and just smooths everything out. So think like tile grout, hair gel, just smooths everything out and actually prevents additional damage. So not only does, does lanolin protect your lips in terms of creating a perfect environment for it to repair and re restore that moisture, it also prevents it from flaking and being uncomfortable and just just feeling those horrible side effects of chap lips. So lanolin and Carmex have my vote. I love them so, so, so much. And it's just, it says on the bottle, smoothing moisturization. And that's exactly what it is, smoothing moisturization. My last product is another drugstore. I just go to the drugstore brands because they're available and that's when you need them the most. So this one is the Blistex Lip Medics. Now this one's also kind of controversial, but it works wonders for me. It's actually like my ride or die go-to. Like this is my first place item right here. So this product right here um, contains a petroleum jelly in it. It's from the same place as car oil, yes, but it's refined differently. So you can use it in cosmetics and medicine, okay, and it's completely safe and it has great moisturizing properties so petroleum jelly is literally just a fancy word of saying Vaseline so petroleum jelly is literally Vaseline Vaseline just went and put their stamp on it and named it Vaseline it's just like no one calls it petroleum jelly it's like hey do you have Vaseline so yeah just a really yellow thick everyone knows what Vaseline is I've actually heard that people use this on their face as moisturizers like no ma'am, not for me. So back to the Blistex. So this here contains the petroleum jelly that I mentioned and petroleum jelly is another occlusive moisturizer. So what that means is that we just put on a thick layer and it prevents a barrier from the outside world and prevents that evaporation of water from the lips to the outside world from happening and really provides an ideal environment for that moisture regeneration process to happen in your lips and just makes you feel great. But another really exciting thing about this product here is that it contains additional ingredients which some people are sensitive to, so just be mindful. This one has menthol and phenol and camphor in it. And what that does is really help numb and cool the lips so you feel instant relief, which I'm all for. Anything you feel instant relief. The minute that I put this on my lips, I start feeling like a cooling, numbing sensation. And what that is, is the menthol and the camphor and the phenol working its magic on my lips. So I love something that I can get instant relief from. This is kind of like the Vicks for your lips. So anyone who's like European, Hispanic, grew up with Vicks and like rubbed it all over your body, like, hey, my, I had a headache. Vicks. Hey mom, my stomach hurts. Throw some Vicks on it. You can't really throw Vicks on your chap lips, so this is the closest that I can get to it. And I'm just obsessed with it. I love it so, so much. And I could have like the driest lips ever. I come home, throw this on, and it's just like, boom. I'm a new girl. I'm a new girl. Couple applications of this guy and buy chap lips who? Chap lips who? So as you can see, these products don't actually moisturize your lips. They provide barriers to help the natural processes restore moisture better in your lips, which was super cool and I didn't know that. I lastly wanted to go over a few tips to help prevent chapped lips altogether. So step one, exfoliate. So what I do is I throw a sugar scrub on my lips every other night or so. So this one here is the one by Jeffree Star, the Velour Lip Scrub, and it's just sugar. This one here is strawberry, oh my gosh. This one here is strawberry gum and it smells so good, I love it. Like I said, I grab a little bit, rub it on my lips and just take off that dead skin. 
but if you want to see a little bit cleaner and more affordable this one from elf is just i think it's called brown sugar or something like that i'll link it down below and it's in lipstick format so you can just quickly just one two three one two three get that dead skin layer off and you're good to go this is great for traveling as well so i love 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 a nice sugar scrub it really helps to refresh your lips and make them look nice and plump next tip would be to use a lip mask nightly so like i said my votes for the laneige i absolutely love her but Bite Beauty has another great one, which I do also use, uh, just not, I just don't love her as much as I do the Laneige one. So lip masks every night, trust me, they'll change your life. My next tip is just to understand the products that you're purchasing better. So like I said, I wanted to understand what the beta glucan was in this. I wanted to understand lanolin. I wanted to understand petroleum jelly and their benefits and what they could do for me and how I can mix them and what, what to put on when and for what condition and all of that stuff. So just being more educated in the field in general. All of my research really does pay off because I haven't had chaplets in a really long time. My next tip is to drink your water and stay hydrated. Just, just drink your water. There's nothing else to it. My last tip is an obvious one, but I'm gonna say it. Remove your makeup before you go to bed. You do not need, I don't care what your excuse is, there's no excuse. Remove your makeup before you go to bed. You don't need it on your face, period. So that's all for me today. Debunked Chap Lips, episode one, complete. Close your up, tie a bow on it, wrap her up, ship her out. She's complete. Hopefully you learned something new today and you'll start incorporating these products or these ingredients in your everyday kind of chap lip routine so we can just be a big squad of beautiful lipped goddesses. So if you like videos like this, I don't know. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the like button down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.